Hey everybody, in this episode, we're going to make the classic TikTok board that you might make in a shop class or an engineering class. So first thing I would suggest doing is creating a folder for uh, your TikTok board and then your marbles that you're gonna make. Um, this is gonna be our first group activity. So after you make it, you can play it with friends. Um, here we go. Now we're gonna make the board. So hit create, hit document, and I'm just gonna call this TikTok. You can call it TikTok board. Um, actually, I also need to add my initials on the end of that. So here we go. I'm going to start with the top view. I'm going to do a sketch. I'm going to look, rotate it so it's top down. Now, one of the very, very helpful things to do is do a center point rectangle. So I'm going to make it this big. I'm going to change my constraints. So I'm going to hit this down arrow where all my constraints are, and I'm going to hit equals because we want the top and the side equal. We want to make a square, not a rectangle. Next thing we're going to do is grab a dimension and we want that square to be 4.5 inches. And let's finish that. And let's extrude that by clicking on it and making it one inch. All right. Now we are going to cut some lines in it as if we were going to use the table saw. So Go ahead and uh, look down on it, hit sketch, click on the very top of your four and a half inch board and grab, switch back to the corner rectangle by hitting me down on the rectangle and go to corner rectangle. Start at, oops, I need to select that again. Start at the top, uh, mine highlights in yellow. I'm gonna go down and connect the bottom where it highlights in yellow. Um, right now we didn't worry about dimensions there, but now we're going to add some dimensions. So I'm going to add a width to this, and I want it to be an eighth of an inch because that's the size of a table saw blade that we have. Um, next thing I want to do is I want the height to be the same as, as the uh, board here. So that should be four and a half inches. Just double checking there. And let's measure for location. So we are going to go from the side, and I'm going to make this... 1.5 inches over, subtract a 16th of an inch. And you'll notice that that 16th of an inch is in parentheses. And the 16th of an inch comes from half of the eighth of an inch there. And before you hit this green checkbox, we want to do a circular pattern. And you might have to hit this down arrow because yours might default to linear pattern. So we want a circular pattern. I'm going to highlight what we just did. And I am going to uh, zoom out just a hair, and I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to make it four. And look at that. It rotates around. When I hit this green checkbox, it looks pretty darn good. Looks like a tic tac toe board is getting there. Now, let's double click back into this sketch and grab the scissors, which is the trim tool. And I find this best when I zoom in. Uh, I want to get rid of the intersections and just make them open intersections. Zoom out so I can zoom back in on the bottom here. And okay, I think that's all of them. The green checkbox. And extrude. Oh, oh, school's about to start. Here's our bell. Uh, I am going to click on that. And I want to remove it, and I want to remove it about a quarter of an inch. And now you can kind of see where that quarter of an inch is on the side. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another sketch right there on there. I want to add a point, and this is something we haven't done yet. We want I want to center that point. You can like hover over and then down a little bit. And if you move slow, you might be able to find that center. Or if you go here and here, you can find that center point. So there we go. There's the center point. Uh, let's do a linear pattern with that center point. And I want to go double click on this. I want to space it one and a half inches 
I want to click this arrow right now. It's going up. I want to reverse it, and make it go down. And I want to double click on that row and I want to make that three. And the distance I want is 1.5. And so now you can faintly see I have a dot here. I have a dot here, here. I should have a dot in each of those center spots. Now we're using points because now we're going to hit this finish and we're going to change those points into holes. And this is something that might be new to my students, maybe you too. So we're going to click on hole and I'm going to click on each of these points. So I don't have to do one at a time. And I am going to make the hole um, a simple hole. I'm going to make it a you can see I'm going to make it a blind hole. Um, it might default to through, which means just that it will go through. We don't want it to go through. We want it to be blind. Uh, a simple one, of course. We don't want to do a counter sink, a counter bore. We'll talk about those maybe later. I do want to make it a half inch, so I would use a half inch bit. Um, and my marble, or I'm sorry, in the hole, I only want to go down about a quarter of an inch. So when we zoom down, you'll kind of see it come to a point as if the drill bit is going down a quarter of an inch. And I have all of the holes. I'm going to hit checkbox and I'm done with my, or I'm almost done with my tic-tac-toe board. The last thing I would encourage you to do is on the side or the bottom of your board, um, or your tic-tac-toe board, go ahead and add sketch to it and go ahead and throw your name on there, your last name on there, as if we're going to use the engraver over there and go ahead and grab the extrude, click on that. We want to remove it a little bit. And I'm going to do each letter. And then I'm, I don't want to go that deep. I'm just going to go, go that, go a tenth of an inch and hit. And then you can spin around and you can put your teammate's name on the other side. So I'm going to grab the font. I'm going to put my teammate's name on there. Myself and Mr. Tockle are going to work on it together. And I'm going to then check that, extrude that, and again, make that 0.1 of an inch. And you are all done. Thanks for watching. And if you need any help, let me know.